Nice overview of Greater Thimbleweed County. Nice overview. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost, and there is a Killerino on the loose. I have an official map right here. Oh, I see. Well, uh, that looks uh, legit, Reno. Hmm. Odd. I thought I... Yeah, well, I guess the law is the law. I guess I'd better return all these maps to the quickie pal. I feel like we're getting close to cracking this case. The only thing you're getting close to cracking is my patience with you. Let's work together and I can get on with my... I mean, we can get out of this town as quickly as possible. Agreed. We need to identify the body using the face tron with a photo of the body and the victim's photo ID. You mean like a driver's license or passport? Or Burger Shack loyalty card recognized around the world? We need a fingerprint match. Using the Fingertron with a fingerprint from the murder weapon and an official fingerprint book. We need a blood match. Using the Bloodtron with a blood swap from the body and Willie's blood wallet. We need to talk to that crazy clown at the circus. He's got serial killer written all over him. Wouldn't it be quicker to just shoot him? We need to have a chat with the geeky programmer at the old mansion. There is something odd about her. Yeah, a woman with a brain. Definitely suspicious. Let's get cracking. I can't reach them. Tickets, 25 cents. Open up, federal agents. Keep your panties on, I'm coming. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. So take your dime store suit and good news pamphlets and stick them where the sun don't shine. Ransom the Clown? I heard you know about a body by the bridge. Jeez, no foreplay rent? You don't beat around the bush, do you? Not my style. You can ask your questions, toots, but I'm not saying I'll answer. What do you know about the body by the river? What body? Earlier this evening, we found a body down by the bridge. We're investigating, and I was told you might have some information for me. Nah, I heard some sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the mansion mansion. That's where most of the f***ed up stuff happens. What weird stuff do you know about at the mansion? You want to find out about the mansion mansion? You're gonna have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself and the town folk leave me the f*** alone, thank you. I'm not about to rock the boat. I don't pay rent here and I can't go anywhere else after my ex-wife took me for everything I had. We heard you don't get along with the locals. Given my creepy clown face and Paul Jean for abusive name calling, it's not made me a popular community figure. No. But I don't need the validation of these small town losers. I'm Ransom the Clown. I was on the Tonight Show. I'm great. What do you know about Chuck? Chuck? As in, Chuck, my factory is too good to make toys, Edmund? Didn't know the pompous well myself, but I knew his brother Franklin. Weedy guy, total Scared to stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. 
How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. My act was about to go bigger than Jesus. I was a hit on The Tonight Show. I was on my way to the top, so we figured why not cash in with a little merchandising. Franklin wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. What kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? Isn't it obvious? We were gonna make Ransom the Clown insult dolls. Would've been great if Franklin hadn't bailed on me and gone missing before we signed the contracts. I could've been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Whatever, Red. Not like I'm going anywhere, but you're not getting inside without a warrant. I remember when those dolls were all the rage. People would wait in line for hours to get one. are watching us. Make no mistake about it. The only way to protect yourself is to fight back. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Ridiculous. Interesting playlist. Tuna Head by Razor and the Scumettes. Then Tuna Head by Razor and the Scumettes. Followed by Tuna Head by Razor and the Scumettes and featuring Tuna Head by Razor and the Scumettes. And finally, Tuna Head by Razor and the Scumettes. Looks like the radio station is on the air. It's a music poster. It's a record. There's a record on top of the turntable. What a big lever. Impressive mic. It's locked and bolted from the inside. Pretty disgusting. Looks like it was repaired with glue or something sticky. I don't want to know more. It says, Phonetron 3000, for when you need to handle hundreds of phone calls. Hmm. I can't pull that. There's nothing to use here, except maybe that tube. It's stuck. It's stuck. I can't put it in there. No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. That's the re- No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of height. That slop tasted like crap when I made it last week. Maybe it's gotten better with age. The fly larva crawling all over it seemed to think so.